All right, guys, I'm back out here at this uh, field that I call the dovetail field. Not, not because I found one this year, but several years back, but it's the only dovetail I've ever found. And that's where I'm at, and it's come a bunch of rain. This field's had two rains on it since I've been here one day last week. And one of them, I mean, was a gully washer. I want you to look. I don't know if you see that big wash out, it goes for a long way down through there. And I've been walking in it for a long ways, but well, there's a big old pretty farm or something right there. But wish me luck. I just got out here. I'm fixing to try to find something for you to look at. Appreciate you watching. All right, guys. You can see I found a handful of tips and whatnot. I think I've got another one there down here. I don't know if it's all there or not. It's covered up, but we're gonna look and see. Hope it is. I ain't found a hole in yet. Oh, it's pretty, pretty long. Look at there. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. We're looking at it the wrong way. The tip was down in the ground. Check out that base. I believe that's what one might classify as a turkey tail, would you not say so? I found one in here last year, just about the same size. But I'm glad to find that. It's the first hole piece I found today. And, uh, anyway, it's been some, some heavy, heavy rains here in the last couple of days. But I'm going to keep looking. Maybe I can find one a little bigger. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, I'm back. I want to show you what I've seen. I hadn't walked up on it yet, but I'm back probably about six foot from it. I can see the tip right there. I can't see what's on the bottom end for that quad, so wish me luck. We're going to see what's there, if anything. You can see it better than I can. Looks pretty good. Well, let's just pull it out. What do you think? I can't tell if it's damaged or not, but if it is, that would have been one of them turkey tails. We're close to it, but I'm glad to find it though. Sorry about the camera work. Let me zoom out a little bit here. That's sweet though. It's pretty colors in that thing. A lot of stuff down around here is made of hornstone. But anyway, that's two real decent finds, so I'm fixing to keep on looking. I appreciate you watching. I'll get these cleaned up after a while. I'm back again. It's only been, I don't know, about two minutes. Looks like we're on to another Adena woodland style point. That's pretty good. I'll take them all day long. I'll we'll get right there. Don't look like it's got any damage to it. I've been in this field, I don't know, probably three or four times this year. One time I come, this is the dust bowl I made mention of a couple of weeks ago. Well, a week or so ago. But anyway, we've had some significant rainfall since then. And they've not been able to put any crops in it yet. and So, it'll still be good for a while now. Even after you get crops in it, get some more rain. But keep on looking. Thanks for watching. All right, people, I'm back again. I'm not going to take any chances. You see me pull one out the other day. It ended up being a monster. This one probably ain't going to do this awful loose. Well, that's the base was stuck in the ground. Just twice today I've been mistaken by which end was which. It kind of reminds me of uh, that hunt that Richard and Tim had out there at the drive-in. Uh, Momart's point, he couldn't determine which wind, which end was which. I got so tickled over that, that was funny. No offense, Momart, but it was funny. You got to admit it, I don't care who you are. But anyway, I believe that's all whole. Appreciate you watching. All right, guys. Now, these 
if it's what I think it is, these kind of points turns what I said earlier a pretty good day into a real good day. You've heard me say I don't find too many Madisons or any tri many triangle points, but check that thing out. Oh, that's pretty right there now. That's about two inches long. Boy, I'm having a I'm having a big time. As if you can't tell. You might not be able to hear it in my voice, but my insides jumps up and down all the time. That's sweet right there. I can't tell much about it in the camera, but I, it looks like it's got, well, it don't really look beveled. It just looks flat like right there and flat on that side. But anyway, when I get where I can look at it, I'm showing you and you can sit there and I can. I just know it's awesome. I'm glad to find it. I appreciate you watching. All right, guys. I'm, I think I'm on another one. Looks like either a Kurt or a, a Dana. I believe it's a Kurt. I don't know. You tell me. It's a complete point, whatever it is. Still, that, that looks like an Eva base, but I don't know if I should be able to find these around here or not. If it is, it is, but I'm glad to find it. I'll get back with you. All right, guys. I'm back one more time. Just about walked past this little thing. It's a little bird point. <clears throat> looks pretty good. Oh, good guy. Boy, he looks nice. Yeah, I'll take that little fella. I've had an awesome day. I'm gonna get these cleaned up after a while. Let's see what they look like. They look pretty good now, but I always like to see them cleaned up. Appreciate you watching. Back again. I just keep coming. You get a little piece right there. I don't know when I've had such a good day. It's been several trips since I found this many pieces in, in one day. This little thing right here I found a moment ago that you've seen. I believe it's translucent. It's some type of a. I believe it'd be hornstone. You probably can't see it. There's not a lot of sunlight out, but I'll, I'll get them cleaned up. Show you after a while. Good day. Thanks for watching. A little ear damage. Other than that, he's a sweet. Later. All right, guys. I made it back home. I had a awesome day today. See a little dimple in that thing right there. And it's got flat spots all over it. So they're grinding stone, slash nut and stone. Another broken grinder or whatnot. Big tools and scrapers and just different things that have been been worked on. This right here is a shame. I believe that'd have been a silt. You can see the polish all over that and it would have been so nice. The material would have been. It's burgundy and it's got some light, well, red looking stripes in that thing. That would have been some really pretty material. But, it's broke. Just a little drill broke. Tips and bases and midsections and you name it. Found 60 pieces today, and not a single one of them has modern brakes on them. So between this hunt, and I believe it was the last hunt, that's 103 pieces 
with three that had modern brakes so that that increases the average a great deal three out of a hundred and three I don't know what the ratio would be, it doesn't really matter. These right here, they've all got a little bit of damage to them. A little fire pop tore the ear off of that one, and just first one thing and another. Same thing there, it's got fire pops in it. There's several of these even broken ones that's got those little pop pop marks in them. This here's a little, uh, I believe it was utilized as a flake blade. It's got just real fine serrations around the edge of it, you probably can't see it, but I can. I can feel it. You might be able to see it right there, but anyway, I brought it in. And I think it would have been a Motley and either a Kirk or whatever. Anyway, there's one of the little birds I found. It's got the ear broke off of it. I, I found this right here, and I found tons of what we used to call Indian money in, in these fields in time. And but this one seems different. It's uh, most of the Indian money that I've ever found. We used to call it. I guess it's fossilized seaweed or coral, or whatever. It seemed to be squared off. It didn't seem to be rounded like this piece is. And this thing feels polished. And uh, I don't have a clue whether it's a bead or not. Somebody like Pestle Man or uh, Mr. Speck that finds a lot of these or has found a lot of these could tell me it's got little you can see the little scratch marks on it right there and I don't know if that's natural or not but feel free to comment on that I'm not uh, I'm not acquainted with the beads and I don't know if that'd be one or not I just brought it in because it felt different and I even bit on it to see if it was rock or not and it is it I mean it feels like rock it's hard uh, but it yet all at the same time I guess where it's polished it feels somewhat soft that's kind of a crude piece, but I'll take it. Another one, pretty decent piece. All these has got this little nick here and a little nick there. And there's an Adina. I, I guess I'll make this my Adina challenge for Mr. Pestle Man and those that participated. I've got other Adinas, but it seemed like I found several today that would have fit the category that's a pretty nice little piece right there you see those colors in that that's hornstone uh, I've got some of that quite a bit of it I found in a basement dig one time and big chunks of it and uh, it works pretty good this right here I, I'm tickled to find that triangle look at the look at the needle tip on that thing That right there feels ground right there. It doesn't own these sides, but it does right in the center of that bottom. It may be thick for for a, for a Madison. I don't know. Uh, in fact, it could be. It could have been a broken blade that they uh, that they salvaged. Use your own judgment on that. I was glad to find it though, because I just don't find a whole lot of what I would consider triangle points, but. This was a pretty nice find, this turkey tail. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's, in the material, it's got stripes that goes one direction, and then all at the same time, it's got another set of stripes that goes in the opposite direction. Can you see that? It's like a cross. But anyway, I was glad to find that. And I, I suppose uh, size is not always the main factor when it comes to determining what might be your find of the day and I would have to say this one is because it's probably uh, most complete the finest I'd say on the day between it and the turkey tail I was glad to find that little piece if the sun was shining I believe you could see through it uh, because it's it's made of some kind of transparent material or translucent material rather but anyway I had a good day. Got hot out there today. It's about 83 degrees and they're calling for more rain so the humidity is just crazy. But I appreciate you watching. I may have to edit a bunch of this. I've turned it on and off a bunch of times today but I wanted to get you a clean up and I may have to put it on two parts but if I do just watch for the clean up separate. But anyway, had a big time today. I appreciate you watching. Good luck to you.